Uh, thanks so much for joining us. <laughs> You're welcome. Here. Maddie, you went 12 to the last 14 points, a straight set victory into the quarterfinals for the first time here. What does that sound like? Sounds great. <laughs> um, I am so happy to be in the quarterfinals for the first time here. I've um, obviously I've only been in the round of 16 one other time, so to be able to get this many matches in a row here um, feels really good. Well, Harriet Dart, she started playing better in that second set after you dominated in the first. Now, sometimes, you know, you can get a little bit tight when your opponent starts to change it up a little bit. But how did you stay the course? What were you thinking about through closing out that match? I just kept thinking I had had so many opportunities to break even in the second set and I felt like I was holding my serve pretty comfortably so I just kept telling myself to give myself those opportunities and just put myself in that position to finally get that break and when I was able to um, for 5-4 I felt like kind of a weight just was lifted off of my shoulders. Now you you seem to be getting comfortable playing in these conditions, the California desert. Lindsay mentioned that during the telecast, like she's really finding her game uh, in, uh, in these conditions. What's different this year, if anything, and why are you looking so much more comfortable out there? I think it's honestly just an acceptance that points are probably going to be longer and I'm not irrationally angry <laughs> that the court is slow, like just accepting that it is what it is and not trying to not only fight my opponent, but also fight the surface and make it faster because I'm going to lose that battle Can you do that? Can time. you actually make it faster? I, see, I failed every time before. <laughs> so I think finally accepting it has really been the biggest change. Not being irrationally angry is a, is a great policy for life. Uh, <laughs> just, you know, st stay rational and, and things hopefully will work out in your favor. You know, coaches have, have come and gone for you. But Rocket has been the rock, right? I mean, he's been there throughout all of this. Rodney Marshall, we see him in your player box. What, what does he mean to you? Uh, Rodney is amazing. At this point, I feel like he's more like family than even just a team member. But um, I can't even tell you how long I've known him at this point. But uh, I think the first time he had to, honestly, he had to take care of me at a tournament because I think I was 17 or 18 and I flew to Australia by myself. And my mom pretty much called him and said, hey, you're in charge. Like, make sure she's fine and then make sure she's on a plane home. Um, so he's taken that job very seriously probably for the last 10 years. So um, he's so amazing. And, I mean, icing on the cake is we work really well together. P part coach, part trainer, part big brother, part <laughs> a little bit of everything, right? Uh, well, congratulations once again into the quarterfinals here at Indian Wells. And we wish you the best of luck. And we will be ready on this desk the next time you win, We're just waiting for you. I'm just going to come and surprise you guys again. <laughs> You seem to enjoy that a little bit. <laughs> Hello, I'm here. <laughs> we Madison love Keys, always yeah. in great spirits, and it is great to have her here with us on the BNP Paribas desk.